Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. In this week's Parsha, we learn about the story of Korach, who led a rebellion against Moshe. The story ended with the ground opening and swallowing up Korach and his family. For this reason, we are going to make sand slime today. Here are the supplies we will need. A container, popsicle sticks, clear glue, baking soda, measuring beakers or measuring spoons, sand, contact lens solution, and water. Let's begin. Pour a quarter cup of glue and a quarter cup of sand into the container and mix with a popsicle stick. Once upon a time, there was a group of builders who wanted to refurnish a house together. They wanted to work quickly, so each builder was designated a specific job. One worked on the tables and chairs, another on the light fixtures, and a third on building the cabinets. Happily, they all got to work, but pretty soon one of the workers started to feel bothered. He felt like his job, building the doorways, was insignificant compared to the others. He wanted to do something more important, maybe the tables and chairs. Next, add one teaspoon of baking soda and mix it in well. This worker disregarded the first assignment and went to work on the chairs. Another worker also felt unhappy with his job, putting the light fixtures in, so he decided to work on the tables and chairs as well. Next, add one tablespoon of water and mix it in well. By the time the house was supposed to be finished, everyone realized that they couldn't put up the doors because there were no doorways, and the light bulbs couldn't go in because there were no fixtures to put them in. Korach from our Parsha felt like one of these unhappy workers from this story. He didn't like that there were levels of importance, that some were leaders and others followers. Lastly, add one teaspoon of contact lens solution and mix without stopping. Once it's too difficult to mix with the popsicle stick, knead it with your hands until it gets to the right consistency. Korach felt that everyone should be on the same level with no one leading and no one following. But Moshe tried to explain, and what Korach didn't understand, is that for this world to exist, we need various levels and types. For instance, the sun rises in the daytime and the moon in the night. They have different roles, but they complete each other. Similarly, some days are ordinary and some days are holy, like Shabbos and holidays. But the ordinary day must be there just as much as we need Shabbos. The same idea applies to us. Each person in their unique role is a necessary part of making the world complete, including the rabbi, the teacher, the janitor, and the garbage collector. Take a moment to think, what is one thing that doesn't feel important but makes a difference to your family, friends, and those around you? Enjoy your slime and see you next week.